Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another video by Serif. And today we're back with the Red Sea Reefer Nano and we're going to cycle this tank. Firstly, I'm not sponsored by anyone, so these reviews are really just how I feel and information I wish I could find online, but maybe I struggled to find or I just couldn't find. So today, we'll be talking about cycling the tank. So for most of my previous setups, I've been using Dr. Tim's bacteria and honestly, they work great and I have no complaints at all. But for this tank, I wanted to try a new bacteria and I actually chose the Microbacter XLM from Brightwell Aquatics, which is this product. So there are just a couple of things to note about this product. Firstly, there's a difference between Microbacter Start XLM and Microbacter 7. The Microbacter 7, which I have here, is meant to enhance biological filtration in a fish tank, while this Microbacter Start XLM is more for cycling new reef tank. Honestly, I couldn't find much information about the differences in bacteria of the two bottles, but I do believe that the Microbacter Start XLM is just a more concentrated version of the Microbacter 7, but I'm not really sure. You could probably still cycle with the Microbacter 7, however, do get the Microbacter Start XLM if you really want to cycle your tank quick. Secondly, based on a few reviews from the forums and videos about cycling with this, there are some mixed reviews. Some tanks are able to cycle within a couple of days, but some tanks takes, take months to cycle with this. So I really wanted to try it firsthand and see how it works and how quickly you can cycle my tank. Thirdly, and this is probably the most important part, it is so important that they highlighted it at the back. So as you can see here, do not use live sand or dry seeded artificial live rock. This refers to products like carob sea live rock which has seeded dormant bacteria on the rocks or live sand from carob sea which a lot of us refers use. So with that being said, how did I cycle the tank? So I followed the instructions and added the bacteria to the sum. And during this whole time, we did not use any filter flaws. I turned off um, I don't even have a UV sterilizer, but if you do, turn it off. And my skimmer was turned off as well. I also used some leftover Dr. Tim's ammonia that I had from another tank set up as the food source for the bacteria. I added to the ammonia was 2.0 parts per million. And I also checked the three key parameters when cycling a reef tank, which is ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. I tested the parameters using these three test kits, the ammonia from Celeford, the nitrite from Salifert as well as the NIOS um, nitrate test kit. I tested the parameters using the test kit and it was about five, day 5 when I started to see zero nitrite and a skyrocket in nitrate, which is a sign that the tank is almost cycled. Also, as you can see in this video, I started to get diatoms all over the sand bed and the tank walls, which is a healthy sign that the cycle is completing. By day 7, my ammonia and nitrite were at 0 and nitrate were at 20, which is a sign that the tank has cycled. So if you were to ask me, does this product work? Well, based on my experience, it cycled within 7 days, which is absolutely amazing. So it gets my stamp of approval. With that, I think I'll wrap up my video right here. So do consider subscribing to my channel to follow my journey. Till next time, see you guys!